Hello everyone, welcome to another video, another video about the game that I have finished just uh, a few hours ago and I would like to say some things about it. The game, uh, if you have seen my other uh, posts on social media or Instagram or YouTube, is of course Normandy 44 by Mark Simonitz and GMT games the latest the latest addition to my small war game collection and uh, I, it's it's actually the third game of the 40x series and uh, <laughs> as you probably can understand from that is that uh, i really like this series and the way mark simon simulates those uh, conflicts uh, this one is the fourth printing and this uh, suggests at least that it's a hugely popular game and I think that every fan of uh, at least the Western Front in World War II should have, a, should have a look at it and see how it plays. Uh, I don't want to imply that there are not other great games out there about uh, Normandy in the Western Front. I think that the, this is just not hit the sweet spot uh, for me. I mean, not every player is uh, the same. It's a classic. Uh, I have... Uh, if, if you see, I, I suppose you most uh, unboxings, there are lots of unboxings in English. I haven't done the one in English uh, because there are lots of them. It's a classic hex and counter uh, war game dealing with the campaign, the the first month about uh, 6 to 27th of June in the Normandy uh, campaign. The game starts on G day, 6th of June, and continues to almost to the end of June. Uh, what uh, I want to make clear that the game is not a D day game, it's not a game about D day itself. Uh, the invasion, you're not going, as the German, you're not going to fight the allies uh, on the beaches. Uh, the invasion will happen more or less successfully. There are tables for that, so uh, not um, not two games uh, will be uh, the same. We won't have the same way to start, but uh, the invasion will happen. You will not fight... Uh, right on the beach, uh, you'll fight after the bridge heads have been established. Uh, but yes, uh, you can, you can, and maybe you, some of you would like to try to uh, push their eyes back to the sea, and well, there are some chances of success for, uh, from what I've seen playing the game. Uh, Maybe, maybe you will succeed in that, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. Um, it is a game about the whole campaign, the, which, uh, as you know, uh, was a very protracted and bloody campaign, considering the distance uh, the Allies managed to cover. Um, okay, I really, as you, uh, as you probably understand I really like this game um, because it it, it it provided me with an I would, don't want to say accurate but uh, it was a very good representations representation of the uh, slow progress and the bloody battles that were fought on uh, Normandy um, I mean if you have read uh, history books about the day about the battles that happened in Normandy, uh, you will uh, you will have read that the, the battles were protract protracted and they were uh, especially bad, bloody and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, any in any day and Normandy campaign uh, a book you can uh, find that, and uh, I think that this game really manages to simulate this. Terrain, terrain has a, a big effect on this game. I mean, it's very slow progress and it's a very bloody progress fighting through the bocage of northern uh, France, of uh, Normandy. 
I mean, it, it, the game is constructed, the CRT table and the modifiers are constructed, uh, are designed, sorry, in such a way that you will have to fight and you, you will have to fight hard for every uh, hex that you want to advance to. So, um, while the map is open when uh, there are uh, for the allies, it's imperative uh, when they get the chance to place their units, advance their units as much as they can, because then it's going to be a very slow progress as more and more German units arrive. Um, Okay, let me say about the terrain. The terrain in this game, of course, uh, this being a 40x game, there are uh, zones of control and zone bonds. And uh, okay, in, in the other games as well, uh, you uh, almost in every game, I would say, you have to learn how to manage your zones of control. But in this game, uh, with the zone bond system, uh, typical of the 40x series, and the way the terrain is and uh, the limitations you've got it's imperative to learn how to use your zog bonds uh, effectively also the terrain gives the defender modifiers uh, by increasing their strength and since there are limitations to how much strength you can uh, get against a hex so that means that most of the time you will uh, start your battles as the attacker at 1 to 1 uh, or 2 to 1 if you're lucky <laughs> if you're lucky you can get 2 to 1 and then you will have to rely on your uh, artillery support naval support and air support to get to 3 to 1 4 to 1 or 5 to 1 and of course your troop quality uh, the troop quality in this game is more detailed it's not just green elite uh, there are actual numbers and yes it works it works very well another peculiarity is that there's only one strength it's the same strength for attacking or defending and i think it has to do with the nature of the campaign um i, I wasn't a very uh, i'm not very particular to having the exact strength um, and weakness and because it was uh, late in world war ii uh, tactics had involved and also the terrain itself uh, did make much difference if you were attacker or the defender I mean in this uh, situation the Bocage uh, it was uh, very difficult indeed but what can make really difference is artillery support, your troop quality, your armor, armor ratings uh, are all, all these things are hugely important to be able to win your battles and advance uh, if you're the ally or successfully uh, defend and counterattack I mean um, of course the Germans play a defensive game uh, that's only natural they have to prevent the allies uh, to, to advance and uh, control key hexes that give a victory points cities towns stuff like that but um, I found out that the Germans have to risk at least some counter-attacks, some key, at key points, so as to stem the allied advance and maybe get a chance to disrupt their supply lines um, and uh, the deployment of their units. Yeah, um, it's not all um, retreat, uh, retreat and fight, it's, it's, it's a fight and retreat, but uh, uh, the Germans yeah, have very good chances of uh, setting up counter-attacks and uh, a successful counter-attack at a critical point can really cripple the Allied advance. Um, I don't know what else I've got to say about uh, the game. It's other than it's a great game. Game. Um, I played it. I uh, of course I've only played it. Uh, this is the one time, the first time I play this game. I think I've got a good grasp of the rules. I didn't have um, any many problems, and okay, I, I had to look up quite regularly the rule book, but that's only natural. My first game, I, I really liked it. I would recommend it, and I can't think of anything else to be honest uh, right now. Uh, I would love to play it with more and with opponents. 
and yeah if if you are intuitive going to um world war two western front uh i think i think it's one of the uh best games in the series ah, also forget to mention that i really like that uh the care book the cotton tongue peninsula uh, is there all by the Kerberg uh, is not abstracted, you've got to get there and fight for it and the Germans of course have to uh, manage its supply and uh, defend it. So uh, that's all, uh, that was it, Normandy, 44, GMT Games, Mark Simonitz, a great game about the Normandy campaign, uh, I would love to read your comments about it and that's all see you in the next episode